Back in Fenmont at last. All thanks to you and the others. Can you believe this is where we first met? That feels like forever ago. I suppose it does. This probably isn't something I need to say again, but... I know. There's no time for waxing sentimental. Right. <sighs> of course... <sighs> Are you thinking about the mayor? <sighs> I understand how you feel. My teacher at school was killed by that same awful machine. It's not that. It's that I'm not actually sad at all. Is Elise a heartless monster? Elise... Do you think she got what she deserved? Of course not! The mayor suffered horribly! What happened was so awful! Would a heartless monster get so mad about what happened to the mayor? Would she shed tears over it? No, I guess not. We have to destroy that stupid lance! Why did that Agria girl say such awful things to me? Is that wretched little urchin actually nobility? Yes, I do believe that she is the scion of the Travis family. The Travis estate was destroyed by arson a few years ago. Most of the Travises died in the blaze. She lost her whole family? No wonder she turned out that way. How interesting. You can sympathize with someone you despised mere seconds ago. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of thing Agria would say reeks of naivete. Perhaps she would. But I find it to be a kind and gentle smell. I agree. Oh dear. Perhaps we're starting to smell a bit cheesy ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Wow! Orta Palace is huge! And it's so sparkly and pretty! I've never seen anything like it! The entirety of Orta Palace was made out of a single lumen tree. They channeled spirits to grow it into the shape of this giant palace in just five years. This is a single tree? Wow, their spirit arts are incredible! Oh, you guys actually believe me? N no not at all We just thought it sounded true! Isn't that the same thing? It must be awful to lose a friend. Poor Rowan. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm fine, everyone. Fighting such an impassioned battle gave Noctigold and I a chance to understand each other again. We have walked different paths, but it was good to remember a time when we called each other friend. I have no regrets whatsoever. I see. Then there is nothing further for me to say. Do you think that King Noctigold felt the same way? For Owen's sake, I sure hope so. Yes, I do believe he did. Thank you. All of you. I can't figure it out. Who could have fired those arrows that killed Noctigal? I have no idea. But I, I can't figure it out. Who could have fired those arrows that killed Noctigal? I have no idea. But for an instant, I sensed a strength that was equal to the power of a great spirit. Well, it's definitely not your pals, since they're trapped in the lance. Wasn't there also talk about a great spirit-like presence in the attack on Himil? There are two possibilities. Either the enemy has found a way to control the Four, or there are other Great Spirits of which I am not aware. So we're going to end up fighting a Great Spirit either way. Wonderful. I understand that humans haven't engaged in large-scale warfare since the Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. For someone who doesn't meddle in human business, you sure seem to know a lot about our history. I read a book about recent human history while I was convalescing in Laurent. You read it in a book? Guess Jude's not the only honor student. The book confirmed my theory. Humans haven't changed one bit since ancient times. And I suppose your impression of ancient times also comes from a book. Did you say something? Hmm? Oh, I just said that uh, as long as humans never change, we mercenaries will never go hungry. Has our eminent tactician figured out how the enemy plans to cross Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid not. 
During the Renome season, the marsh flow weakens enough to make a crossing possible. But spirit climb changes have been thrown off kilt. Has our eminent tactician figured out how the enemy plans to cross Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid not. During the Renome season, the marsh flow weakens enough to make a crossing possible. But spirit climb changes have been thrown off kilter. The marsh flow should remain active. What's this marsh flow? The marsh's many bodies of water are linked together, with their water flowing through underground channels. If you were to fall into one, you'd get carried off to who knows where. Oh, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm a great swimmer. The maze of channels is quite complicated. It could be ten years before you're finally pulled to the surface. Yikes. Don't know if I can hold my breath for that long. And yet the enemy intends to cross it with a full army. That leads me to one conclusion. That Arjul has a tactician even greater than the Conductor himself? Yes. The key to Rashagal's strategy is the hill that overlooks the basin where the two armies are fighting. You believe they will set the Lance of Kresnik there? It seems likely. From there, they can snare the entire enemy army while they're all gathered together. If the Lance of Kresnik truly is a mana-powered weapon, it would be a very advantageous location. But to think Deputy Chief of Staff Gillen could pick out that spot so accurately is quite a surprise. Such a man must not be taken lightly. I had always thought him a talentless Lickspittle, who won his position by flattering Noctagall. But it may be time to reassess that opinion. We have to fight hard for everyone's sake! We can do it! Are you feeling well? Huh? Why do you ask? At your... <laughs> we have to fight hard for everyone's sake! We can do it! Are you feeling well? Huh? Why do you ask? At your age, you should be worrying about yourself! Oh, it's nothing important. But if your health changes, please tell me right away. What he probably means is, if you gotta pee, do it before the war breaks out. I... I'm fine! Mind your own bladder! Well... Certainly no sign of side effects yet. I guess the water channels beneath Fezabel Marsh brought me here. I wonder how far they pulled me. Who knows? Hey, do you know if Mila's safe? The Lord of Spirits is fine. Good. I mean, Maxwell could never actually die, right? That's right. Unless Maxwell were to use a mortal human body as a catalyst. You know, it's funny how different you two are. Is that so? Yeah, Mila's much more... No, never mind. As you wish. Are you really Mila's sister? I am. Although it differs from the way you humans conceive of sisterhood. In what way? I couldn't say. I know little about the human version of the concept. But you brought it up! So, elementally, what kind of spirit are you? <laughs> oh my! What temerity to ask such a personal question! Wait, what? Alvin! You're committing sexual harassment! Wait, hold on, I didn't mean anything! Oh, okay then. Sheesh, every bit the painter's sister is, but in a completely different way. What were those flying ships and soldiers that appeared from the sky? It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Perhaps it was all a dream? Come on. And when Zhao died, was that a dream too? If you forget all about it, it might as well be. Just let it fade away in the morning light. No need to lug that baggage around. So, do you know something about who those people were? You know, I feel like I may have had a dream about them. <laughs> what an amusing fellow you are. Those awkward Those aqua dragons sure weren't shy about coming after us. They must have been half starved or something. I bet there's not much to eat in this spirit climb. Um, it was probably my fault. I fought them before we all met. You fought the aqua dragons by yourself? I had to. They were trying to eat me. I 
was so scared! Oh, are aqua dragons drawn to garish trinkets? Tipo isn't a trinket! As you say. I suppose it does appear to be somewhat edible, and looks quite tasty, in fact. No! Don't eat me! You two must have brought me here after I fell into the marsh flow. Yep, and you're a whole lot heavier than you look. We put you in the cave to rest while Leia and I split up to search for an exit. Forgive me. I've been a burden to you. Hey, come on. Don't worry about it. We're all lucky just to have made it off that battlefield alive. Indeed we are. In any case, I am glad you are well. Of course I am. Maxwell can't afford to die. <laughs>